Hello and welcome back to the continuation with the AJ Connect post configuration and installation. It starts the syncing process. You can check the same information from the Azure Active Directory by clicking to the users. You should be able to see all those users accounts which are coming up from your on premises. In this case, you can very clearly check that there are only a few accounts, and uh, if you click on load mode, it, it's going to be load furthermore. And you can very clearly check the difference between the source is from Active Directory, uh, which is Azure Active Directory in this case, which we have created the six of the accounts. And uh, if you see here, these are the Windows AD Server accounts, which are on premises uh, user accounts, which are automatically synced up here. So any of the user can now log in with the applications related configuration purpose. He can log in with these accounts and he can work on them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll show you here also in the office 365 these are the accounts which we created earlier if I start doing the refresh it should be uh, in fact if I do the refresh here it should start showing up those accounts also because the previous page was never uh, never been refreshed in fact now I can assign the uh, required licenses in this case for example I want to assign for user one some kind of licenses so I just click on that use it now remember that before you assign if you can see here job title all that was not configured here properly so the most important one would be for any of the user account you need to configure under settings at least the user's location this is mandatory without configuring user's location you can't uh, proceed further uh, to work with that user account so it's best that you know you need to configure the user user's account user's information in my case I'm just going to give here as Australia and simply save post to this I wanted to show you here uh, from my on-premises active directory the changes let's open up active directory users and computers here the user account has been there uh, which is user one and there are uh, different areas sync related accounts or the groups has been created automatically and these are the groups are used for the syncing purpose with your on-premises to Azure cloud now if I want to force the sync or if I wanted to anything to do with the AD connect or if I want to reconfigure I would be rerunning this wizard but in my case there are no uh, not uh, any I don't see any configuration that needs to be in fact to be reconfigured so I'm just exiting but I can show you that how to synchronize if you are uh, trying to sync up so once you install the AD connect you also getting up here something called synchronization service so click on that this uh, this is a key in fact you can monitor the sync process for example here the last sync was happened at 708 and the uh, sync was successful similarly whatever the number of times it has been synced and whatever the changes has been done for example in this case at this sync level there are 1008 different object has been added or synced up to uh, to the cloud uh, with all these uh, different attributes has been synced up so that kind of you know information you can easily find out and if you're trying to sync what you can do is you can simply sync up with the actions like uh, you can do the run uh, a different sync either full export or import or uh, do the data sync or full sync all that can be done in fact that's how it's going to work the sync related options now let's have a look on uh, other configurations if I want to configure uh, the user account with a department as a finance I should be able to do it here I simply go back to my organization and here under department I can give that finance department once I give that uh, this a uh, user gets automatically synced up and these values can be replicated to the cloud not all those uh, attributes can be synced up because uh, for example I just wanted to make it very clear for you if we go back to all users and I, sh I can't be enable or I can't be edit the uh, few options for example under settings uh, there is these things has been already grayed out because these are values which are coming from Active Directory. You need to f fill up there, and then automatically those values gets replicated here. So since I've just added it there the finance department, it's gonna come up here uh, soon once it has been synced up. That's how it's gonna work uh, with the AT Connect. Now let's have a look on this user uh, for the licensing. So in my case, I'm just gonna 
add uh, manually the licenses so I just select that user one profile and click on license here and then assign the required licenses in my case I'm going to configure here I wanted to configure uh, specific to EMS5 and business premium these are the two licenses I'm going to assign for this user uh, later point I should be able to use that um, on on premises uh, capabilities or the cloud capabilities uh, since we have these additional licenses has been already added for this specific user account if I go back to my Azure Active Directory and uh, there is uh, AD Connect uh, in this blade if I click on AD Connect these options has been now changed because AD Connect is synced up it's enabled it's synced this blade uh, clearly explains that this has been synced with the on-premises Active Directory with Azure AD let's have a look on a uh, user one since we have updated on on-premises under organization finance department let's go back to our engine portal and verify whether this has been already updated or not so I'll just go to engine portal or Azure Active Directory and go to all users and select that specific user and then if you can see here the department is already updated so if you can remember in the previous demos we did created some of the groups that has a, a dynamic membership so that also should be updated in this terms yeah it has been already updated all finance user group so there should be two users one would be the Dan other one would be the uh, the user one because that's how we made the uh, communication should happen 